Hey, what's going on kings and queens? Royal Gilly here from Team Royal Gaming. Before I start this off, I um, need to let you know that I'm a little sick, so the voice is a little... I don't know, maybe it doesn't sound different at all, but like for me it's just hard to talk. Like It's hard to project words out of my fucking mouth. So, uh, yeah, sorry if I sound like, a, like I'm dying and shit, but uh, Richard Harrell wants me to talk about most awkward moments with girls okay and this is something i do a lot on my channel so you know you've heard lots of the the most awkward moments but there's still probably a good like 10 other ones that i haven't talked about for real 10 like that's shitty huh that i have like 10 other things that i could talk about besides the other things that i've talked about on my channel um but there's one thing that i i should get off my chest one story that i've wanted to tell for a little a minute okay and it's awkward, and you're either going to feel really bad for me, like, Gilly, I feel for you, bro, That that's a tough situation, that's really awkward, that sucks. Or you're going to be like, you're a fucking douchebag, what the fuck is wrong with you, Gilly? Unsubscribe! You know, either way, either way you want to, uh, to judge the situation, I did what I did, because that was, uh, that's what I do, okay? You see what I'm saying? Anyways. There was this girl I knew. I know, okay? And this is a fairly recent story, and I generally don't like talking about recent stories just because it's like, if the people involved in it hear it, it's like, fuck, that sucks. And especially because I'm putting it in such a negative light and I'm talking about it on my channel, but hey, you know what? That's what I do. So there was this girl, and she really, really liked me. And, you know, I she was cool and stuff. She wasn't like most girls. And, um, uh, you know, I, I considered her a friend. She was straight friend-zoned, okay? And for whatever reason, she really, really clinged on to me. You know, she had lots of, uh, lots of issues, okay? You know, it's just going, shit going on in her life. And, uh, I felt really bad for her. So, you know, I would, like, hang out with her sometimes and, you know, whatever. Uh, but she really fucking clinged on, on to me for whatever reason. And it was, it kind of sucked, to be honest with you, because it put me in these really shitty situations at times. But, uh, she was sitting next to me in my uh, fucking computer class, okay? That's how I met her. And, you know, time goes by. Uh, we're kind of good friends, but for, like, she would, the thing that stopped us being friends is she, she beat the shit out of this dude. And, like, like not, like, the dude didn't do anything about it because he's not going to hit the girl, but she's straight just, like, socking him. And I was like, what the, come on, you can't do that. And. It kind of, like, spread us apart, you know? We weren't really talking. Um, but anyways, I'm sitting in computer class, you know, trying to do my work, concentrating. Uh, this girl is starting to freak me out because she's really, really, like, getting on my nerves. She's really clinging on to me, like, looking f like looking to me to solve, looking at me to solve all of her problems for her. And I couldn't do that because, you know, I'm dealing with my own shit right now. I'm sorry. I'm selfish. Or you can say whatever, but I can't help you okay I'm sitting there computer class doing my work I look over to my right where she's sitting she's got her fucking uh, her her head down on the table and she's just crying I'm like ah oh, shit oh no I, do I have to do something here cuz I really don't want to I don't know how to help the situation at all you know maybe I could like you know like rub her back and make you know hey I'm sorry whatever you're going through you know it'll get better I could have taken that route but I didn't. I was like, I just got to focus on this work. I'm not going to get involved in any fucking drama. I'm going to stay out of this, okay? And uh, I'm doing my work. A couple minutes goes by. She keeps looking at me. And she's like, she's like these big old puppy dog eyes, like, help me. That's, that, was the, that was the fucking look on her face. I'm like, what can I do? Like, I'm just thinking this. I haven't said a word yet. She's just crying and crying and crying. And it's... You know, people are looking at her, and it's like, oh, my God, causing a big old scene. And all of a fucking sudden, she, like, borderline tackles me. She, she like, st stands up and gives me this, like, big old fucking hug and just squeezes me super hard and, like, just sobs forever, man. And, like, she's literally, I, I after she was done with this, she's, like, like her, her face is on my shoulder, and she's, like, kind of behind me, and she's just sobbing and, like, just like laying on me kind of <laughs> I'm just like fuck what do I do like everybody's looking at me I ca I really want to help her but I know I can't and it was just this really shitty situation cuz I felt bad but I felt I just felt so many different things embarrassed 
I felt bad. I felt like really awkward and oh, it just sucked, man, cuz she you know, she was crying on my shoulder. She was making my shoulder wet. You know, cuz I know when she like got off of me eventually, which was uh, her own decision. I didn't do anything. I just seriously sat there and let her cry on me. And uh you know, she's causing this big old scene. And uh, she, you know, my, I remember my sweatshirt literally being wet. Like, I was wearing this gray hoodie, and there was literally all this, like, just wetness on there from her face. And, uh, yeah. I mean, it was just so awkward, because I wanted to, like I said, like, I didn't know what to do. I'm not good at thinking on my feet in really high, tense situations like that, where you have this kind of borderline, I, I, I hate to be offensive like this, but borderline crazy girl just clinging on to you and sobbing and I'm like fuck I don't know what to do I'm just gonna sit here and uh, hopefully this will end but yeah that was the the awkward moment that I needed to share with you guys this is a big moment of my life big moment okay but if I could go back I would definitely handle the situation a lot differently uh, it's kinda fucked up for me of me to just sit there and you know, kind of freeze up and not know what to do. I should have even been like, you know what, are you okay? You know, hey, this isn't the time. I'll, I'll talk to you later. You know, like, let's talk about this after class or something because, you know, it's a, everybody's fucking looking at us. But, yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry for my voice. Uh, but I'll see you guys later. Goodbye!